God's wonder-working power is made manifest when we call upon him when we call upon him not when we want him to be there not when we assume he is there when we call upon him and there are two biblical ways to call upon the Lord never forget this there are two biblical ways to call upon the Lord number one heartfelt prayer number two perfected praise heartfelt prayer heartfelt prayer hearts shabakato siata heartfelt prayer heartfelt prayer ye have not because ye ask not he says ask and you shall receive that your joy might be full let me show you something mark chapter 11 please give us verse 24 mark 11 24 that there are two dimensions to calling upon god calling upon his mighty power and his outstretched arm therefore i say unto you is that in your bible what things soever ye desire please help me when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them once you have not prayed and you just believe arbitrarily god loves me too much to leave me suffering like this you are right but that is not the modus operandi of the kingdom i hope you realize that god himself submits to his word the bible says he has exalted his word even above his name his reputation so there are no sentiments in dealing with god Jesus himself when he brought himself low and became the son of God he had to call upon God for every time he desired to see his manifest power for instance in John chapter 11 the resurrection of Lazarus Jesus himself they rolled away the stone and he said my father I thank you because you always hear me he acknowledged the government before him and with that authority that he so vocally expressed I can of my own do nothing by that power he said Lazarus come forth and he that was bound came forth and said lose him and let him go are we learning we call upon him in prayer the Bible says I will call upon the Lord who is worthy of praise then it says so shall I be saved the combination of prayer and praise most believers know prayer but we do not know praise praise has nothing to do with whether you can sing or whether you can dance if you are ashamed do it in your room but by all means prayer and praise are mysterious weapons that seem to attract the might of God my Bible says he inhabits the praise of his people are we together what does it mean to praise God to praise God means to acknowledge him as touching his might and his power whether it's through a dance whether it's through singing the most important component of praise is not your dance you can be dancing and yet not be praising that acknowledgement is the praise factor if in your dance and in your praise because there are many let me not even go there praise the name of the Lord let's just continue where let's finish in peace tonight but I can assure you that there are many things that do not carry power because acknowledgement is not in it I can dance for a show and as powerful as that is I am not praising God there your acknowledgement you know what it means to acknowledge to acknowledge means to insist that the person you are acknowledging perceives that you recognize his contribution in your life so what most people call praise beyond the talking drums beyond the instruments beyond the nice melodies praise is from a point of acknowledgement god you did this for me look what my life has become where was i when you took me oh god and that will sponsor your dancing that will sponsor your singing are we together now that will sponsor your rolling on the ground it is not the activity that makes it praise the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 it says trust in the Lord with all thy heart 
are we still here it says and lean not unto your own understanding the next verse says in all your ways acknowledge him you can replace that word with praise him to praise means to acknowledge I don't know if I've done it in this church but say I want to introduce someone here let's say a gentleman here and let's say someone who has achieved so much when you acknowledge people you don't say how are you that's not how to acknowledge usually when you get an intelligent MC who wants to introduce someone they will start something like in 1998 he won a prestigious award of this and that am I right on that they now begin to flaunt his credentials and at the end of it they say ladies and gentlemen we are moving no further until we acknowledge this that is what it means to praise God you cannot praise God without talking about what he has done that you mention the name of your children by name don't say there are too many if there were not too many to be helped by God they shouldn't be too many to be mentioned Lord I thank you look what you did in January I didn't even know I would survive it one month ago I was in the hospital I watched people die but look you kept me now you are praising him I'm showing you how to call upon God and he says you did this for me and you are acknowledging me and then when you are not ashamed to do it before men come and see a man who told me everything I have done and they said you are a prostitute you say forget the issue of prostitution come come and the people said this is compelling hmm. do you know there are many people's salvation that is tied in your testimony and your praise you need to be able to acknowledge God so loud that someone asks you what is the joy for and then you tell him my testimony is not a manifestation of pride I am just too grateful to be silent too grateful to be silent two of my children graduated with first class my husband just won a contract I just had an encounter with Jesus five unbelievers in my family gave their lives to Christ how do you keep quiet like that you see the high point in a testimony is what Jesus did let me give you a clue if you are summarizing if you don't have time and people are testifying don't just tell them summarize no there is a part of the testimony that glorifies God if that part is missing it was just discussion or a flaunting of pride I want you to sing me a song. Aribiti Arabata. Go ahead. Lift your hands, lift your voices in one minute and bless him. Is God speaking to someone? The reason why it looks like he has not acted is because you refuse to praise him for the last thing he did. You took it too casual. What is there in my son schooling abroad? What is there in my son graduating? What is there in my husband being a nice man? 
what is there in my wife being a godly woman what is there in all my five children loving the lord when we begin to the bible says bless the lord oh my soul please help me he said and forget not forget not force your memory to remember lord you took me from nothing i came to lagos with no help look what your mercy has done in my life go ahead in one minute just find a way of blessing him in my life be glorified be glorified the praise you take the honor I just want to say thank you you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor I just want to say thank you so we listen to me listen to me everyone please let me have your attention how many of you have found yourself drawn to grateful people that you give someone five thousand and for one week the person is still sending a text mommy just to say you say it's too much you even feel embarrassed do you know it's as if you owe them their gratitude does something to you but there are people that you can help and after two weeks they send you a text and say sorry i forgot just to say thanks most likely they have closed that door by themselves in my work with god there is nothing too small he heals a headache i roll before him lord thank you nobody has the power to add one cubit to a man's hair hallelujah can i tell you men who know how to pray and know how to praise are the ones who do not just experience the wonder of god they become signs and wonders themselves and i want you to believe me i know what i'm saying there is no limit to a man who knows how to pray and knows how to praise i told you praise is beyond dancing oh no. praise is beyond singing the acknowledgement factor must be there mention the thing he said count your blessings the hymn writer says he said name them how many one by one the only way you will be surprised is when you name them one by one one by one you have the grace start from january lord look what you did february they downsized everybody but while they were going down i was rising like the ark of noah round to mount ararat how can i dare claim the bible says accept the lord my bible says accept the lord builds a house they labor in vain that build it except the lord watches over a city he said the watchman watched but in vain ladies and gentlemen it is vain to wake up early and to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow sometimes i really wish i'm yoruba so that there are songs that are fired in my spirit but i'm limited my understanding is not fruitful the heavens declare your power and royalty. Help me. Lord, you reign. You are the ancient of days. Lord, you reign. Your glory is established in justice and righteousness.
there's a part to this song we're still singing we're not done not for what God has done in your life ladies and gentlemen hear me I've shown you a mysterious secret tonight some of you this is how you started with God and you found out you were rising but I hope you did not become too big to roll on the ground I hope you did not become too big that the designer clothes can no longer touch you listen let me tell you sincerely anybody who is too big to pray and too big to praise you will never see the mighty hand of God you, you don't have to roll but I am just telling you these are the secrets they are the mysteries in the kingdom in the next five minutes you can find a comfortable key my apologies don't mind me if you depend on me I'll keep going up and down but in the next five minutes I'd like you to cry before God in gratitude Lord I thank you Lord I thank you Lord I thank you Lord I thank you King of Kings Lord of Lords King of Kings Lord of Lords King of Kings Lord of Lords one more minute mention the names of your children one by one Lord see what you've done in their lives mention the name of your husband your wife your relatives mention the name of your company cry to the God of heaven in gratitude faithful God mighty God faithful God mighty God I acknowledge that this is your hand I acknowledge that this is your finger One more minute I leave you with your maker one more minute I leave you with the one who cried when men failed you the one who showed up for you sickness would have destroyed your destiny I leave you with the one who preserved your life I leave you with the one who protected your company and your business from loss and failure many are there that rise up against me many are there which say where is my help but thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I lay me down, and I slept. He said, I waked, for the Lord sustained me. Thank you, Jesus.
Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. They may not know why we worship. They may not know why we praise. It is from hearts of gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.